After an injury plague season where the Warriors won just 15 games, Stephen Curry returned this season with a vengeance. He had to prove that he could take the Warriors back into playoff and even title contention without Kevin Durant, and he did just that this season. Steph put up a career high in multiple categories, including points, free throw percentage, effective field goal percentage, and three-point makes and attempts. He single-handedly carried the Warriors to 39 wins in a shortened 72-game season and the 8th seed before the play-in tournament. Even though Nikola Jokic won MVP, I still think Steph proved that he is the two-time 2015 and 2016 MVP we all know, despite him being 33 years of age and looking like he's never missed a beat since his rookie year. But let's take a deep dive into the numbers. How much of an impact did Steph really have on winning? And was his overall stats really better than his MVP 2016 year? Let's find out. First, we have to look at what he did to help the Warriors reach the 8th seed this year. Steph did the impossible of carrying a 15-win Warriors lottery team to a 39-win season in all what was already a shortened COVID season. He did this with nearly the exact same Warriors roster as last year, despite the additions of Kelly Oubre and number two overall pick James Wiseman. This is impressive, because not only did the Warriors have the biggest jump out of any team from last year, but we already knew the Nuggets would be good with Nikola Jokic, and we already knew the Sixers would probably be the number one seed too. This, to me, makes his MVP case even more outstanding, because this really shows his impact on winning. Next, however, we have to look at his stats. Just when you look at them at a face value, they were clearly better than his MVP season in 2015 and 2016. And trust me, that's saying something, because I watched his full 2016 season, and I basically did not miss a game. And let me just say, what he did this year was the most impressive thing I've ever seen. Steph averaged a league-leading 32 points per game this year, which was two points per game higher than his MVP season, where he put up 30.1 points per game. He also set a new record for three-pointers made and three-pointers attempted per game, making 5.3 threes per game while attempting 12.7 threes per game. There's no doubt in my mind that if Steph had a full 82-game season, he would have shattered his 402 three-pointers in a season record, and it wouldn't even have been close. Probably more impactful than Steph's elite and tough shot making is his gravity that he brings to basically the entire Warriors team. When Steph is on the floor, the Warriors have one of the best offensive ratings in the league, because not only can you not guard Steph Curry from three, but if you double team him, he's got some pretty good players around him for the most part. Draymond can make plays, Wiggins can make an open shot here and there, and it leaves room for other shooters on the team like Michael Mulder, Kent Bazemore, and Jordan Poole. Without Steph on the floor, the Warriors have one of the worst offenses in the entire NBA. That explains why the record was so bad last year. They couldn't generate anything without Steph's shot making and gravity on the floor to generate open looks for other players. I'm not saying that Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid wouldn't have this type of impact if they were injured for a, for a full season like Steph was last year, but the gravity that Steph Curry generates is unlike any player I've ever seen. Now, Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid can't shoot threes, but you definitely don't have to guard them from half court like you do Steph Curry. This, in my eyes, is what makes Steph Curry so special and what makes him the MVP of the league this year. We are witnessing the greatest shooter in NBA history, and there's no doubt in mind he could keep this up till he's 40. He doesn't rely on his athleticism, and shooters usually only get better with age. Let me know in the comments down below if you think Steph Curry should have won MVP this season but I think with his scoring ability this season, leading the league in scoring, and also leading the league in three-point attempts and three-point makes, including improving the Warriors from a 15-win season to a 39-win season, earns him the MVP this season. Thank you for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.